Hello and welcome back to Rad BMX Builds. On this episode, I'm going to be talking about how to find Rad BMX parts so you can build a Rad BMX bike of your own. A lot of times I get questions on where do you get these parts from? How do I find this part and where do I locate this part? That's what this episode is going to be about and I'm going to tell you exactly where to go to find the parts you're going to need to build that Rad BMX bike. Okay, let's get to it. The first place I need you to look is going to be linked below in the description of this video. It's on Amazon and I have my own personal Amazon store where you can locate whatever parts you think you might need for this Rad BMX build. When you click on that link, it's going to take you to some lists that I personally sat down and built so you can easily find, locate, purchase these parts to make whatever bike you need. These parts will be a great guide for you in, in finding things to build the bike, but also in that will be things to help you maintain and clean this bike, tools to help you build the bike, stands to put the bike on, so on and so forth. So the first thing we're going to talk about on the list is a folder that I have titled BMX and Freestyle Accessories. Now in that, I compiled a bunch of different parts such as chains, pegs, fork standers, and things of that nature that you would put on like a BMX freestyle type build. In there are different types and colors of different pegs and chains and so on and so forth. These are just items that I like to use that I can quickly go to and locate within my own store and buy so I'm not constantly out there searching for all these different items. The next one's going to be titled BMX wheel set and these are going to be in 20 inch. But within that wheel set, I have different items such as anodized colored dice valve stem caps, regular colored dice valve stem caps, spoke covers in multiple colors, and then we get into actual wheel sets. So you're going to have 20 inch anodized wheel sets, Skyway Tough wheel sets, uh, regular polished or chrome wheel sets to choose from. So that should meet your needs for what you're going to need for wheels and so on. The next group of parts is titled Bike Grips, and there are going to be your basic, commonly used BMX grips. Everything from the old school Amy style to the new school flangeless and flanged, longer, newer school grips. You're also going to find bar ends in numerous different colors by ODI or maybe Amy, and some mushroom grips as well if you want that old school style. It's in there for you, and that's quick and easy to find as well. Now, who can build a bike without changing out pedals? Pedals is one of the most important accessories you can put on a bike. So the folder titled BMX Pedals is going to have different types for you, such as the old bear trap pedals in anodized colors such as red, blue, silver. But maybe you want a composite platform pedal, like PC Twisted Odyssey pedals. They're a great pedal at a great price. I've used them on several builds. And don't forget these pedals that you're going to be using will either be a 9 16 shaft or a 1 half inch shaft. And if it's a 3 piece crank it's going to be 9 16 and if it's a 1 piece crank that's going to be 1 half. So please keep that in mind when you're shopping for pedals so you don't buy a pedal, get it, try to put it on and realize you bought the wrong pedal for that type crank. There are two types, 3 piece cranks or 1 piece cranks and you make sure you get the right pedal for those. So I put a bunch of different pedals in there, platforms, bear traps, freestyle, BMX style, different types of colors and, and so forth that you get to choose from. And hopefully you find what you're looking for for BMX pedals in that folder. Now, very importantly, bike cleaning and shipping materials. As you know, I do a lot of selling of bicycles, which if I do have any for sale, they're on the website at radbmxbuilds.com. That link will be below also. But in order to ship a bike off, I'm going to need shipping materials such as bike boxes, which I do get from Amazon. That way my customer gets a brand new cardboard box, not something that's been used three, four, five times, beat up with holes that have been taped over or patched. I want you to have a brand new box and I want to use the best shipping materials I can when I pack that bike. So in this folder you're going to find boxes, tape, bubble wrap, pool noodles for the frame which I highly recommend you do. It'll protect decals and protect fresh powder coat uh, from getting scratched or banged up. 
And also I have a heat gun in there and Goo Gone and some vinegar. These are cleaning products. Vinegar is great for removing rust. The Goo Gone to help get off old decals and residue left behind. The heat gun will help loosen up those decals so you can peel or scrape them off. And really importantly, microfiber towels, which are crucial to cleaning bicycles. So in that are some of the packaging, shipping, and cleaning materials you may need on a day-to-day -day basis. The next file or folder in my store is BMX bars. Now I have lots of different types of bars. There are freestyle bars, there are BMX race bars, there are painted, black for instance, or chrome. So in there I have the GT Performer Repop bars, I have the Haro Type Knee Saver bars, four piece bars, pro bars, all kinds of different bars. I even have the generic GT Performer bars by Mission or Black Ops. And if you don't want to spend 100 bucks on GT bars, you can buy these for 40 bucks and have the same look. It just depends what your budget is. I put it all in there. I didn't want to put just really expensive stuff because sometimes I may want to do a build that I don't want to spend $1,000 in parts on. It may just be a cool rider bike or something you're putting together and your budget might not be endless. So you may be pinching, pinching pennies. And so it's all there. So if you need a set of bars, you can probably find it in this folder. Okay, I also titled one SE Bikes. SE is a big brand, everyone's heard of it, and they do have some pretty good parts out there that you could use. I'm a big fan of the SE seat, the Blitz that has the lightning bolt. I think that's a cool seat. Also got a bottle opener on the bottom. It is a hard plastic race type seat, so I think they're super cool. I have some of the SE Donuts in there for your grips. Chain tensioners, which are the same exact chain tensioners that a lot of companies use like Mission or something like that, it just has the SE logo on it. There, a lot of these companies all use the same product and just put their brand or name on it. SE pad sets, padded seats, handlebars, grips, tires, uh, seat post clamps, which I think are kind of cool. They're reminiscent of the Hutch seat post clamp where it's kind of rounded off like a donut. Uh, pegs, landing gear forks, they make a really good one and one eighth threadless stem, which I really like jerseys and also there's SE pedals in there for you. Okay, moving on. I know I'm going through it kind of quick, but I just want to give you a highlight of what's in my store in some of these different lists. And then you can go check them out and I highly recommend you do that. Again, that link's going to be below. All right, the next one, bike tires. Many different types of tires out there for street, for dirt, also inner tubes and liners for your rims, which are really important. If you have a spoked wheel, Please make sure you put that liner on there before you put your tube in. This will help decrease the chance of getting a blowout. So those are on there. And I like to add a lot of color to my bike. So some of the tires I have are Comp 3 style tires. I have them in blue, red, black, gum wall on everything because you can't build an old school BMX bike without using gum wall tires. They're some of my favorite. And then I do have some of the uh, pan erasers on there for you freestyle guys. And then some of the really old comp tires and hookworm tires, just different styles to choose from in the, in the tire section. Now, kind of moving up from tires, we got brakes, and brakes are really important. And I know people want to buy them sometimes in a set, sometimes individually, sometimes front and rear as a group. So I put it all in there for you. And not just that, you got pads, levers, uh, lots of different things. So I put in there some standard black ones, a rear brake set with lever, cable, and the actual side pull brake. Um, I also put in a bunch of brake shoes and options. Also V-brakes, a lot of your mid-90s and newer bikes now are coming with V-brakes, so I made sure I put them in there. And I like to use the MX2 Die Comp V-brake. I think it is an homage to the old school brake. It's got a really cool old school look, even though it's on a mid-school or new school V-brake. And then um, I put some different levers to choose from, different options. So you got some brake options there if you want to use that. And I also made a list called GT Bikes because surprisingly there's a lot of GT BMX or GT bike stuff out there on Amazon. So I wanted to put it in my store so you can easily find this stuff. Anywhere from reproduction decals for the bike, t-shirts, pad sets, and even the mallet stem, they're repops, but they're the mallet stems which are available also through my store on Amazon. So that should be able to help you locate some GT stuff. Now you can't work on a bike or build a bike without bike tools. 
So I've added a bunch of stuff such as grease. And I've talked about this grease that I use before in other videos. And I like to use a, a brand called Crystal and it's a clear grease because I buy a bunch of bikes too and when I pull them apart. There's nothing worse than a really nasty, dark colored, thick, goopy grease. So this will be clear in color. It, it doesn't clump up and get all nasty and dirty like some of the other stuff. Just It's really bad. So this is really clean looking, really nice and, and, and really a good product. I've been using it for years and I recommend that you try it out. Spoke wrenches. I also got some tools to remove tires with, chain breakers, Allen wrenches, tool kits for bikes, which if you're starting out, I recommend you buy a basic tool kit that's gonna have probably 40 pieces in it. And that should cover your basic needs for everything you need if you're not a pro builder um, and you're just a hobbyist. And this is perfect to buy and put in your garage tool set. I also put in a, a bike stand. Uh, nothing worse, especially as you get older, working on a bike on a concrete floor or trying to use a table or just something where things are constantly falling over, get a bike stand, spend a few bucks, it will save your back, save you time, and just you will be so happy if you don't have a bike stand and you buy one, it's gonna change your life. Those of you who have a bike stand, wouldn't do without it. And I know you love it just as much as I love mine. So make sure that you uh, look into getting one of those if you do any type of repair work uh, or just basic maintenance on a bike. I think that's a, a really great thing to have. Moving on, the next list is BMX stem or quill. Different sizes as we know, your old school bikes are a one inch quill, whereas your new school are one and one eighth threadless. So I put both in there and you're gonna find a lot of like the old Sun Tour type one inch stems or the Repop GT front loading mallet type stem. And even some of your older top load four bolt stems, those are in there as well and in different colors for you to choose from. Okay, freestyle bikes. Some of you are obsessed with gyros. I get it. That came on a lot of bikes and they look cool, they look great. I'm not a huge fan of gyros because they're really hard to get adjusted right. They are a cool accent piece. They, they are era correct if you're building a mid to late 80s or even early 90s bike. I know new school bikes have a version of that, but these are like the old school gyros. I put in there a bunch of different gyro cable sets in black and white. Now they're not actual Odyssey one inch. Those don't exist. They don't make them anymore. So you have to find old ones. This is not the, the avenue for that. These are new one inch Odyssey sets and you can go online and find an Odyssey decal if you want and put it on there and really nobody's gonna know the difference. But if you just want a nice new working one inch Odyssey gyro tight system, this is a great place to find them and I recommend you go there and it's gonna have everything you need to put a gyro on your bike. Now the next one is a list that I call bearings. And this is gonna cover everything from your bottom bracket to your headset. And in the headset, I have both the one inch headset threaded fork type headsets. And I put them in black, chrome, gold. So you got a bunch of different options there. And I also put in for the one and one eighth threadless headsets and there's sealed bearings in there as well. So you got some headset options. Now the bottom bracket, I only put American bottom bracket options on here. Euro bottom brackets are, they're, they're not common enough for me to go ahead and start loading up a store with a bunch of different options for Euro bottom brackets. If you're gonna run a Euro bottom bracket, spend the money and go buy yourself a profile or something like that bottom bracket. But American bottom brackets, I gave you a couple choices. I gave you the regular bearing cup with ball bearings. And I've also given you an option with the squared taper bottom bracket. So if you're running like an old school three piece crank, like a maxi cross or a new reproduction pro BMX three piece crank or a sun tour or anything like that, that require that square bottom spindle, then that square taper does come in a loose ball bearing bottom bracket. I put that option in there. If you're running like the new Redline flight cranks, or even the GT Repop three-piece cranks. I put a couple options in there for a sealed American bottom bracket, and these are really great options if you don't wanna spend the money and actually buy the GT bottom brackets. Those are a little pricier, so you can spend your money wherever you want, but I created this store for you guys, so when you're trying to find parts and you're having a hard time locating, or maybe you don't trust eBay or private party, I seem to see a big rash of 
people out there trying to sell parts that they don't even own. So they're scamming people and that's terrible. So I want you to use a trusted source. Go to Amazon, use this store and buy it with confidence that when you're buying these parts, they're coming from companies and businesses that need your support to stay open. They want you to get a part. They're not going to screw you over and scam you like some of these other platforms uh, where you should use caution when buying from private party, Facebook marketplace, even eBay. You know, eBay does have companies that sell on there. Like I have a company that I sometimes will sell on eBay, but I typically don't use that platform very much uh, to sell items. I usually I just use my website and you can buy with confidence there as well. Take a look at my Amazon store. That link is below. Go there, see if the parts are there that you would like. If you find something that I don't have in my store, comment down below and let me know. I will go add it to my Amazon store for you and then uh, that'll help also all the other people that maybe they were looking for that part also and I just haven't put it in there yet. I do not have every single part for every single bike for every single build, for every single preference. These are just quick go-tos that I wanted to compile. And this is a work in progress, folks. This is a store that I'm building and expanding all the time. So again, your input is welcomed. Please let me know if there's something you want me to add, just put it in the comment. I'll go in there and look it up. If I think it's cool and I want it at my store, I'm gonna add it for you. So all you gotta do if you see something you like, just click on it, add it to your cart and buy it. It's that simple. Now these parts will ship out at whatever time it says it will ship out and track just like a normal purchase through Amazon. It is, there's nothing different here than any other Amazon purchase you would make through Amazon. All this is a compiled list of parts that I'm keeping in a, an Amazon store for you. So I hope this is really helpful for you and it, it allows you to find parts easily and have that feeling that you're not going to get scammed, that security that you may want or are looking for if you're a first time builder or you're just not really comfortable buying a lot of stuff online for these bikes. So if you have any questions, message down below and uh, I'll take a look at them and I'll keep making content like this if this is something you like. But I, I want to say quickly, thank you to those that are supporting this YouTube channel. And if you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe. Subscribe to this channel, help me grow, give me ideas for content so I can help you also. And thank you again, and as always, stay rad.